Tenetato Kato, good evening. Lauren Dickerson has been found guilty of murdering her three children. And after the verdicts were read out, the jury and her lawyers sobbed. It took 15 hours to reach a decision, and even then, it wasn't unanimous. The judge allowed them to deliver a majority verdict of 11 to 1. Even though the jury rejected the defences of insanity and infanticide, Lauren Dickerson's parents have issued a statement saying this wasn't her daughter, but someone who was severely mentally unwell. Juliet Speedy reports. This mother is now a convicted murderer. One verdict for Leon A. Would you find the defendant, Lauren Ann Dickerson, not guilty of murder? Guilty of murder. One for Maya. Guilty of murder. And one for Carla. Guilty of murder. Dickerson didn't react as the verdicts were delivered, but had been crying when she was brought in to be addressed by the judge, telling her a health assessment is now needed. For the purpose of assisting the court to determine the type and length of the sentence that might be imposed. Dickerson's lawyers looked shocked as the verdicts were delivered before shedding tears themselves. The judge then addressed the jury. This has been a difficult, uh, it has been a gruelling trial and I acknowledge that this trial has likely taken a toll on you personally. The jury audibly sobbing as they left the court for the final time. It was an unthinkable story of an unwell mother who, while depressed and stressed, snapped and violently killed her children. The jury tasked with deciding whether or not Dickerson was severely mentally disturbed at the time of the killings. They agreed with the Crown that she wasn't. Dickerson's parents were here from South Africa for the entire trial and issued this statement. Postpartum depression is a terrible thing. This was not our daughter but a debilitating mental illness, which resulted in an awful tragedy. Our beloved Leonie, Carla and Maya were taken from this life to another as a result of this crippling disease. Lauren Dickerson was a doctor who became a mother to three girls after 17 rounds of IVF and one miscarriage. The family emigrated to New Zealand from South Africa just weeks before the killings. Her defence team said she was severely depressed and delusional. Lauren was so deep into depression so removed from actual reality and disordered in her thinking that she decided to die to take her daughters with her. But the Crown and now the jury say she wasn't. She acted methodically and purposefully, uh, perhaps even clinically in what she did. The jury heard harrowing details of what went on that day, most of which remained suppressed. They had to weigh up contradictory opinions from five experts, three for the defence, two for the Crown. Dr Lauren Dickerson was labouring under a disease of the mind to such an extent that it rendered her incapable of knowing that her acts were morally wrong. There is no evidence that the defendant was incapable of understanding the moral wrongfulness of her actions. Justice Manda remanding Lauren Dickerson to hospital. Because of your present condition or presentation, a remand in prison would be inappropriate at this time. Three young girls murdered by their own mother in a brutal and sustained assault. Well, Juliet joins us now. Kia ora, Juliet. This trial has raised many complex issues around maternal mental health. It certainly has, Mike, particularly around postpartum depression, which can be cripplingly severe. And Lauren Dickerson's family are urging people to make themselves aware of the symptoms of this kind of depression because it can be tricky to pick up early, but picking it up early is key for people to get the right treatment. Now, her family have also thanked the people and the authorities of New Zealand, authorities like the New Zealand police, who, although we're prosecuting Lauren Dickerson for murder, were also key support people for her wider family. And Detective Inspector Scott Anderson, who was in charge of this case, has also reacted to this verdict, saying his words cannot express just how tragic this case really is. And he thanked both Lauren and Graham's families for assisting police in this investigation and also offering them his deepest sympathies because they will never get to see their Leonie, Maya and Carla grow up and live their lives. Juliet Speedy Live from Christchurch, Tenakwe. And if that story brought up any issues for you, there is support available day and night on the National Helpline 1737.